if you've ever walked down a country lane at night time, you'll know that your eye sees only in black and white when it's dark. It's happily in colour during the daytime, but at night time, you can't see colour as well as you might think. If you don't believe me, try tonight, um, or turn off your lights now and see how dark you can get it in your room. Um, you'll find that the colour of your vision disappears as it gets darker. Why is that? We're going to find out. Welcome to Mr C's Biology. Today we're talking all about the eye. We'll talk about the parts of the eye, what's there, how does it do its job, and then some fun features about it, such as why is your vision black and white when it's dark? So firstly, here's a diagram of the eye uh, that you might recognise from school already. So the white bit around the outside and the white bit that you can see around someone's eye is called the sclera. Now that's got a, a clear film on it called the cornea and that does most of the focusing. Coloured bit in the middle, that's the iris and in the centre of the iris is the pupil. The pupil is the hole that the light goes through. Now when you go inside the eye, the retina here is the bit that detects the light and there are two parts of the retina that are really important. You've got the optic nerve and you've got the fovea. Before the light gets to the retina, it goes through the lens and the lens is the bit that's going to control some of the focusing. It's held up by suspensory ligaments. These are ligaments that get pulled on by ciliary muscles and that is what helps you focus on things closer or further away. So how do they work together to help you um, see light and detect light? So light comes in and the first thing it does is it gets focused slightly by the cornea. The cornea actually does most of the focusing and then the lens just does the fine tuning for things that are further away. So it gets narrowed slightly and then your lens finishes off the work and hopefully it should meet at a focal point on the fovea. Now if the light focuses too close and ends up focusing before it hits the retina, then that's called myopia or short-sightedness. If it focuses beyond the retina, then that's called long-sightedness or hyperopia. And so what we can do to treat that is we focus the light slightly more before it even gets to the cornea by wearing glasses or contact lenses. The fovea is really interesting. That is the point where there are most light receptors, uh, especially the cone cells. And so when you look at something, so like I'm looking directly at a camera now, what I'm doing is I'm directing my fovea of each eye onto the camera. And so when you look specifically at something, when you look into someone's eyes, you're aligning your fovea with that thing. The optic nerve does the opposite. It's a blind spot. There are no receptor cells where the optic nerve is. And normally, when you've got two eyes open, the eyes compensate for that and they cover up the blind spots. There are some cool tricks that you can try that can help you discover your blind spots. I will put a link in the description to some simple ones that you can try out and find the point where you end up not being able to see something. One thing you might have noticed about uh, someone's eyes is that they change depending on how light or dark it is. So when uh, you're in bright light, what will happen is your pupil, the black bit in the middle of your iris, will narrow because it's bright light and it doesn't want to damage the eye so it restricts the amount of light that can go in. And in dim light, then it opens up and widens out. And now the reason it can do that is because of the muscles in the iris, and the radial muscles, these are the muscles that are like the, the spokes on a wheel, will contract in dim light to open up the eye and the, the circular muscles that go round, they, they're the ones that relax. And in bright light, the circular muscles this time contract and the radial muscles are the ones that relax. Now, in terms of detecting light, you've got two types of cells that do that, rods and cones, and they respond to different types of light. So cones begins with a CO, so they detect color light, whereas rods don't begin with a CO, and so they detect black and white light. Cones are much higher resolution, so each cone is attached to one nerve cell, whereas a rod, there will be several rods attached to one nerve cell. And so that explains why your brain can't pinpoint the exact point where the lights come from, and so why uh, when something's dark, it's often a bit more blurry, you can't see as clear, but also why it's black and white, because the rods are doing the picking up. The cones, there's not enough photons for them in the dark to send that individual signal. They need more light in order to send it. Rods can pick it up super easily. Cones are more focused around your fovea. And so when you look directly at something, you're getting as much light in there as possible, and so you can see it in crisp color vision. 
So those are the key structures of the eye and how they work together. Hope that's been helpful. There's lots more going on in the eye that I haven't mentioned. So if you've got a further question or you want to discuss it, I'm happy to answer some questions in the comments. If you like this video and like the idea of some more videos on the brain and on hormones coming up soon, then do click subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching.